When your men stand down in the rain to honor a fallen comrade, gives you an idea as to the caliber of the man. Settling into NCO work was uneasy, but I thought I was getting the hang of it, just in time for all hell to break loose. Napa discovered their leader, who went by the name Prizrak, had been killed. They immediately blamed the Russians and began a countrywide attack on the Russian forces. We immediately deployed our troops to intercept the Napa forces and convince them to stop, one for their safety, the other for our own. We, on the other hand, were given a different task. HQ seemed pleased with our performance in the recent months, and believed us up to the task of capturing Lopatev himself. This was shit usually intended for special ops, but since the CDF didn't have any, we were going to fill their shoes. We now had the potential to end the war before it got out of hand. Alright, welcome back everyone to Mission 9. It's down to this. We're taking him over as Peter Novak again, and we are going to be searching for Lopatev. Our objective is to... A. Find him, B. Capture him, and C, which is most important, deliver him to the Russians before they kill everyone. Uh, Notes-wise, let's see what we got here. I'm not going to be reading all this, it's quite a bit. But pretty much Napa and... Well, Napa is attacking a major airport, which is over here to the west. And more or less, I'm pretty sure they're all going to die because the Russians have a well they have superior tech I think they have superior numbers as well I don't know how big Napa is but I can't imagine them being bigger than the whole Russian military who's in the country and pretty much they will be slaughtered unless we can do this to my knowledge we're deploying at Polona Polana sorry uh, below the red line, the red line representing where most of the engagements are happening, all up in the northern region. We are not having any support at this point. We will have view a few vehicles here. Um, I know we have a BMP, an Earl. I think we have some sort of Jeep that we could use. I'm probably going to be taking the BMP. Notes-wise, we have to capture them alive. Don't approach Major... Russian strongholds, which are represented by these flags, don't worry, we're going to be avoiding them like the plague. And many of the locals should cooperate with you. Uh, that's not really true. I will tell you now, I'm not going to Gorka, or I won't be there long. I went to Gorka last time, cleared it out, no one would talk to me. I actually got the information from the second city on my list. Here's the diary if you want to read it. But we're going to be making a plan real quick. So pretty much... Oh, we don't know anything yet. Well, that's fine. We'll make a plan in a bit. Do we need to do anything to our loadouts? I don't think so. We should be okay with what we have by default. Everyone's wondering what that explosion was. It's a falling car. If uh, future me could cut back to what we saw the first time I tried this, that'd be great. Enabled. Nine, seven, sign team yellow. Team yellow. Team White. All right, so we're going to be searching the major. Oh. Disabled. We're going to be searching the. Oh my God, what are you doing? Game.
Enabled. Cancel. Disabled. That was a thing. We are going to be searching the major cities. We got Gorka, uh, Dubrovka, and Berezino. We're going to see if anyone around there has information. I think I know I'm who I'm looking for. Where's two? Enabled. Two. Two. Disabled. Good enough for army work. Alright, let's get going. We'll do a quick save here. It's definitely a more sloppy beginning than I did last time, but oh well. So we'll do one, two, and then three. Let's see if we can't find them. I feel like there was another town up here somewhere. Maybe four. Alright. Enabled. Team Yellow. Scan. Disabled. I can't go in first person because unfortunately we get the uh blank screen here then where we can't see anything. So we'll be playing from this BMP in the third person for pretty much the entire mission. We're not gonna be in the BMP the whole time, but most of the time. Alright, so last time I did this, and I already said this story once before, I went to Korka. Actually, did I do this in the intro section of the map? I don't know. I'll say it again either way. I went to Gorka, I didn't find anything, but uh, it's completely infested. We'll go there again to check. The dude I'm looking for, I think, is just a guy on a motorcycle, but I'm not sure. I know for a fact that it's semi. It's definitely semi randomized um, on where he spawns. So, we'll check there again, see what happens. I will not spend much time in there, though, because they have a lot of RPGs. Enabled. Nine. Watch west. Camera, please. Cancel. Disabled. It's really annoying how this controls your ca your uh, camera's tilt as well as more accurate version of steering. It's the worst thing ever. Alright, something's on fire in Gorka. I don't remember anything being on fire. Hey guys, I need you to not be in the road. These are Napa, looks like. So, Napa and Russians are friendly. Chidaki are not. Enabled. Team Yellow. Danger. Disabled. Do that a while. It's pretty much my commander with this machine gun is scanning. My main turret's gonna be watching west and seeing most things, hopefully. Alright, let's start looking around for anyone who looks like they're willing to talk. I'd imagine they'd be near the road. But we'll go through this place once, and you'll see what's going on here. Hopefully. Probably engage someone in like 5-10 seconds. What is on fire anyways? Something from the sky, I guess. There's a guy. But I don't think it's the guy, but it's a guy. Excuse me, sir. You want to say anything to me? No? Okay. Just checking. 
unfortunate. We haven't started shooting at anyone. Okay, there we go. Guess we found their ad. Doing is half the battle. Alright, you just shot up a person's. Shot or something. That's great. No way, me, no way, me, no way, me. I've not seen anyone who looks like they want to talk to me, unless they're all the way up here. No. And with Jadaki infesting Gorka, I don't think they'd be here anyways. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and get out of here. Thank you. I don't think BMPs are rated to go over a hundred miles per hour down a road. Seems very dangerous. Alright. Onward to the next town. And killing nature. Why not? Enabled. Nine. Watch east. Disabled. Alright. Luckily my commander can, uh, while scanning, just start calling things out on my driver or my gunner will automatically adjust. Okay, sorry tree. Didn't mean to hit you. I slowed down enough. Not that it matters. And there is our time limit. We have until 0730 hours, which is not too much longer. Why is there just a car in the middle of the road? Excuse me, car. I see you're on fire at one point. Let's see, do we have any dudes around here? Oh, save point. So, limit it to, not to go to Barons, you know, we have to do there, there, where is the last town? We check Gorka. Kelm. Kelm is the other one. I think I already had a four on the map, but it's just so I can see it. So I think we'll check Kelm right after this town. roll through this place pretty quickly. I don't think it's occupied. Okay, I don't think it's occupied. Please stop waving around. It's very annoying. Now last time, I say last time, the time before last time, he was actually right down this hill. Please stop sliding. Oh hey, he's here. This is the guy. I'm 
pretty sure. Yeah, this is the guy. Hey man, uh, Jiri is it? I need some information. Okay, you're with Napa, cool. I need to know where Lopatev is. Cool, where is he? Okay, and his location is semi-randomized as well. Last time he was all the way up at uh, Pobeto Dam, but now he's down on Scalazzi Island. Okay, so we need to hit the highway. We're going to go east and then go south. This could be a long-ass drive. Alright. From this point, we're going to do a quick save. And we're gonna book it because we we have our ultimatum. Am I on the right road? Yeah. So get me outside of. Yeah, that would be nice. Can you get us any aerial transportation? All right, Roger. We'll maybe there's a boat we could take. Port City. Berezino knows Port City. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see we'll have to see if there's transportation there. Do what we can. The uh, the tracks, the damage to the uh, road from the tracks is going to cost the country because we've marred up a major highway pretty bad by this point. Oh, I think that's the least of their worries. All right, we're approaching the island, which is that. We could probably just swim across. Doesn't seem that far. This is part of the mainland. Oh, it's part of the mainland, my bad. Alright. To a save, because we're actually all the way down here. Disabled. Okay, almost flipped it. Should be able to forward this. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, my estimate is two, three minutes maybe to get to that edge there, and then who knows how long to get across the island. Enabled. Squad. 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 Danger. Disabled. slow going, but at least it's something. Enabled. Nine. Watch south. Seven. Scan. Nine. Watch south. Disabled. He's not going to listen to me. And not fl oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, leaving this in, regardless of the outcome, that was a, that was a thing. 
Note to self, don't piss off nature. It will throw you back in the ocean. That's something to do with time acceleration. Now we're going back to one times for now. That should be fine. Enabled. Squad. Squad. Watch south. Disabled. Alright, I'm gonna do a save here. Since we're actually on the island. Alright, let's get going up here. Enabled. Squad. Squad. Danger. Squad. Watch south. Disabled. Let's heal one piece, hopefully. Enabled. Team White. Disembark. Team White. Wedge. Team White. Advance. Disabled. They could do their own thing for now. This dude running. Hopefully we didn't ice Podev. What exploded over here? It said pilot, so I assume a helicopter. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire. Okay, we need to get up to cover right now. Probably should have told uh, main gunner to calm his tits before we did this, but oh uh, well. Yeah, hips gone. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know I could look at that. Where would the pot have be? Docks, maybe? In the house? In a house? Hello, the Potev? How you doing? 
Let me not go into tactical mode by accident. Hi. Yes, I finally captured you. It only took me three attempts. Doesn't matter. I'm more trustworthy than you. You're not fixing anything. You're causing a civil war. Helicopter, please. I can handle this on my own. Disabled. How are we supposed to get all the way up there? Enabled. Squad, regroup. Disabled. Alright, I restarted, and I will probably make a little annotation or something to say that I restarted. But, as you saw from last time, I had a lot of issues because of how little time I had left. Uh, originally, I just said fuck it, ended it, and shared the good credits. But, I'm not satisfied with ending it like that. So I came back, I restarted the mission, and uh, I'm doing significantly better this time. Luckily, oh, hold on. Luckily this time, the... The random area where he showed up was the island again, so we get to see this whole portion. I was actually kind of hoping that he'd be up by the dam, but oh well. Figures can't be choosers. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick save up here. Nine. Hold fire. Team White. Squad. Watch south. Squad. Squad. Advance. Disabled. I had a bloody RPG, I didn't even notice. Enabled. Nine.
squad. Disabled. Alright, I think that clears pretty much everyone out of there. I threw my gunner out because I didn't want a, uh, a high explosive incident, let's just say. I don't even know if I'll leave the last attempt in. I should, because it shows, uh, shows my gunner obliterating <laughs> Lapotev. Although I didn't see it. It's pretty funny. But this time, luckily, we have the helicopter intact. safe enough around here. Let's go ahead and check our watch. We got 20 minutes. That's good. Hey, Lepotev. How you doing? Enabled. Squad. Regroup. Disabled. Surprisingly, I didn't actually lose anyone. There's just a lot of injured, which is a shame. Squad. Enabled. Squad. Regroup. Squad. Safe. Squad. Two. Three, five, six. Two, three, five, six. Sign team red. few times I flew over there and grabbed the people, but uh, this time I'm not, because there's a Shilka just sitting right up the hill waiting for us. I just want to actually get out of here. A little low. There we go. Time. Normally he shoots you down right about when you get to that, uh, that crest, but once you get out far enough, you're pretty much home free. So let's just pretend. I'll probably leave in one attempt. If I don't, oh well. Oh my god, he's still shooting at us. Good god. Still under attack. He hit our... Or a rotor a little bit, I believe. God. Please, we're just trying to get away. Potev's in here. Stop trying to shoot us down, please. Let's see that far. We should be we should be home free, but expect that to go on for a very long time. Well, let's just pretend that I actually picked up my wounded. Uh, normally, you won't be able to pick up one of them, because I have a full team and no one's dead. Thank you for going away, BB. That was lovely. And we're going to quick save, because, holy crap, getting away from the show was the biggest problem there. Yeah, if you have AT, send up 
send your AT soldiers to take care of him. That's my suggestion if you have the extra time. I did. I have 20 minutes, and with the helicopter, we can get there very, very quickly. You only need 10 minutes to get here by helicopter. And you need like 12 or 13 to get here by car. Maybe 15 to be safe. That was this mission. Uh, we'll actually see what the guys say this time. Team White. Enable. Team White. Disabled. That was much better than the way I ended it last time. Holy crap. We only missed a few lines of dialogue the last time, but none of you will see that. Hopefully. I'll just probably just show my, uh, my failure to drive all the way there in time, and then we'll cut back in. But that was actually a very, very interesting mission. I'm not going to say... It was super fun or anything because I had <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with it. It was fun, don't get me wrong, uh, and that was actually a really good way to end this campaign. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the credits, the good credits. There are bad credits, believe it or not, but I will not be showing those. All right, that was just a replay. Let's. I think those are actually the bad credits. Hold on a minute. These are the good credits. That day, the storm which had been hovering over Chinaris finally cleared up. Couldn't have asked for any more of a sign if I tried. HQ had told us to expect a welcoming party, but we weren't expecting what we got. We got a hero's welcome. I couldn't believe that the war was over. After so many years of fighting and bloodshed, it had finally all come to an end. My squad mates had been there with me since the beginning, and they were every bit as much to thank as I was. We were in it together.
The Americans were allowed to redeploy to the area by USCOM, and the Russians agreed to help. They began cleanup operations to get rid of the remaining pockets of Chidaki forces. The Nationalist Party was essentially wiped out that day, as were their guerrilla forces. They were never heard from again. With so many other people able to fight in Shinaris, our squad was finally given some R&R. &R. The first thing I did was visit my father and mother again. A year of peace later, I was finally honorably discharged from the CDF. I decided I wanted to retire and settle down in a nice, quiet part of Chinaris. I am now 24 years old, and Chinaris is still my home. Alright everyone, that was Operation Cobalt. Uh, overall, I'd give that a solid high ranking. That was a very enjoyable campaign. It was very well done in my opinion. The story itself was pretty solid, I'd have to say. Um, there weren't any giant plot holes, there was no... I don't know, gimmicky missions I suppose? If you've seen anything that I played from Arma 1, you know what I mean. Uh, just like really really bad side missions and stuff like that this didn't have any it's fairly focused honestly I recommend anyone who even has a slight interest in playing an Arma campaign go ahead and try this one out it's definitely worth your time I know there's a little thing after the crit so I'm gonna shut up again for a second while it plays I'll be honest, I don't know what the significance of that final scene is. Um, it might have been a character who was introduced earlier, and I may have forgotten about him. Uh, regardless, going back to my previous train of thought, if you have a slight interest in arm of campaigns, go ahead and play this one. It's worth your time. Play it with Ace. It's ten times better than playing it by the base game. Um, besides that, I think the mission I had the most trouble with was Traitors. I know I was having a lot of issues with this final mission, but Traitors was the one that I died in the most. The reason for that is ambushes are not fun. <laughs> they are lethal 9 times out of 10. And I usually miss like one guy in the tree line where I couldn't see him, but he could see me and he shot me. So that happened a couple of different times, but it wasn't a bad mission. It was just a little te- Smacked my audio settings, yay. Just a little bit tedious at that one part, but it's nothing, it's not a big deal. Uh, surprisingly, the mission I thought I'd have the most trouble on, which was Operation Cobalt itself, which is, you know, four people against the world, pretty much, I didn't die a single time, surprisingly. Like, I didn't, I did a lot of editing just to speed it up, but I didn't have to cut out any deaths or anything like that, which was a nice change of pace. It's one of the three or four missions I didn't die in. Okay. 
So to wrap it up, Operation Cobalt, definitely a good campaign. Go out and try it if you can. It is worth your time. The next series I think I'm going to be going through is probably Hammer of Thor. I've already started that, but I will not be uploading the episodes until after I'm done editing and uploading the final little bit of Operation Cobalt. Thank you all for sticking through this series. It means a lot to me, and I will see you all next time.